the key thing was I had a degenerative lower back condition and I was doing everything possible to not have the surgery. Just kept putting it off and it, most of the time it wasn't too bad, but then I'd have little episodes with the back and then that would send me into another MRI. If you had to say, how much did it affect your life? It gradually affected all of it. For a while there, I could bicycle or I could walk X amount and then the leg pain would come in and I'd have to get off the leg. The crux of it that really pushed me over, which I can't remember if I told you was, later that summer my daughter was graduating from college in Japan. Right, you told me this. And I knew I'd probably have to be pushed around in a wheelchair while I was there because walking would very quickly cause the problem, so I'd always be stopping and I didn't want to be pushed around in a wheelchair, I'll be honest. Your slip was so bad. You know, it, it was just keeping going. And, and it was bone on bone. So your L4 and L5 were completely collapsed. It was just crushing your nerves. I mean, and, and, and I was looking at how well we were able to lift that disc space up. We got such a nice opening. I was, I was like, wow, it's very, you know, to get that kind of an opening and that kind of a decompression of the nerve, um, but to get such a, you know, such a, you know, positive response so quickly, it is, it is a little unique. Once we had it done the next day, the leg pain was simply not there. It was 100% relief. What's so enjoyable is this is these type of conversations after the fact. I love working through trying to help patients, ultimately trying to avoid surgery. I really, I can honestly say that my goal is to avoid surgery, but many times there's not many options. And once we step over that, that threshold into the potential and ultimately into the time we decide to do surgery, um, from that point on, you know, it can go in many directions, but having this relationship, a relationship that we develop early on and into the surgery and afterwards, I, I hope my patients know that they aren't, they aren't going to be abandoned we're going to get through this together. And when patients do well like yourself, it really kind of makes my day. It really makes, makes my life. It's, what, it's why I do this. So do you feel like this procedure was able to give you your life back? Oh yeah, absolutely. You gave me back something that I hadn't had in a long time, and that was basic mobility basic being able to do things. What I retained was the ability to enjoy some of the most basic things of life. That's the way I look at it. Thanks for letting me take care of you. Oh, you're welcome.